Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Smart Wallet and Me, where financial wisdom matters. In today's video, I'm going to give you my top 10 REITs. To save time, we're only going to be looking at their business models, their dividend yields, payout ratio, and revenues and market cap. So let's get right into it. REITs are also known as a real estate investment trust, and they're a perfect opportunity to invest in real estate without actually owning property and the headaches that come with being a landlord. REITs have to pay out about 90% of their revenues and dividends to qualify as a REIT. Since their introduction in 1960, REITs have become a trillion dollar part of the US stock market. In this video, I'm going to look at the top 10 REITs and I'm going to deliberately exclude realty income because I believe every investor should invest in realty income. Our first REIT is going to be Prologis with the ticker symbol PLD. Prologis has a big portfolio in the industrial sector. It currently owns or manages 976 million square feet of space in 19 countries, leased to about 5,500 tenants, primarily in the business-to-business -business and retail online fulfillment categories. The stock price is at $101.40 with a market cap of $74.9 billion. The dividend yield is currently at 2.23%, with a payout ratio of 61.36%. They have a 9.94% five-year growth rate and they have been growing over the past seven years. They pay quarterly. Prologis revenue for the quarter ending September 30, 2020 was $1.083 billion, a 14.92% increase year over year. Prologis revenue for the 12 months ending September 30, 2020 was $4.153 billion, a whopping 25.41% increase year over year. Number two, Digital Realty Trust or ticker symbol DLR. Digital Realty Trust is in the data center industry, ranging from cloud and information technology services, communications and social networking, to financial services, manufacturing, energy, healthcare, and consumer products. The stock price is currently at $142.40 with a market cap of $39.9 billion. They have a dividend yield of 3.15% with a payout ratio of 73%. They have a 5.41% five-year growth rate and they have been growing over the past 11 years. They pay quarterly. Digital Realty Trust's revenue for the quarter ending September 30, 2020 was $1.025 billion, a 27.06% increase year over year. Digital Realty Trust revenue for the 12 months ending September 30, 2020 was $3.628 billion, a 13.4% increase year over year. Now let's get right into number 3, Crown Castle with the ticker symbol CCI. Crown Castle owns and operates and leases more than 40,000 cell towers and approximately 80,000 route miles of fiber supporting small cells and fiber solutions across every major U.S. market. This nationwide portfolio of communications infrastructure connects cities and communities to essential data, technology, and wireless service, bringing information, ideas, and innovations to the people and businesses that need them most. The stock price is currently at $170.65 with a market cap of $73.6 billion. They have a dividend yield of 3.2% with a payout ratio of 97.78%. They have a 8.279% three-year growth rate and they have been growing over the past six years. They pay quarterly as well. Crown Castle revenue for the quarter ending September 30, 2020 was $1.486 billion, a 0.27 increase year over year. And revenue for the 12 months ending September 30, 2020 was $5.77 billion and a 1.3% increase year over year. Moving along to number four, Simon Property Group, SPG. Simon is a real estate investment trust engaged in the ownership of premier shopping, dining, entertainment, and mixed-use destinations and an S&P 100 company. They are not doing too well in the short term due to the COVID-19 restrictions, but it would be a good play long term once the economy opens back up and there's a recovery. The stock price is currently at $76.61 with a market cap of $23.4 billion. 
they have a dividend yield of 6.59% with a payout ratio of 55.61%. They have a 10.68% five-year growth rate and they also pay quarterly. The company has grown its dividend for the last one consecutive year, even during this downturn, and is increasing its dividend by an average of 8.49% each year. As I mentioned before, they were growing steadily over the past 10 years, and then they took a big hit in February 2020 with the COVID-19 lockdowns. You can take advantage of the lows now while the economy recovers in the long term. Salmon property revenue for the quarter ending September 30, 2020 was $1.061 billion, a 25.1% decline year over year. Salmon property revenue for the 12 months ending September 30, 2020 was $4.96 billion, a 13.34% decline year over year. My next one, number five, is Federal Realty Trust with the ticker symbol FRT. Federal Realty Trust is a recognized leader in the ownership, operation, and redevelopment of high-quality retail-based properties located primarily in major coastal markets from Washington, D.C. to Boston, as well as San Francisco and Los Angeles. Founded in 1962, Federal Realty's mission is to deliver long-term sustainable growth through investing in densely populated, affluent communities where retail demand exceeds supply. Federal Realty's 104 properties include approximately 2,900 tenants and 24 million square feet and approximately 2,800 residential units. The stock price is currently trading at $90.65 with a market cap of $6.857 billion. They have a dividend yield of 4.64% with a payout ratio of 93.11%. They have a 4.64% five-year growth rate and they have been growing over the past 28 years. They pay quarterly as well. Federal Realty Investment Trust revenue for the quarter ending September 30, 2020 was $0.208 billion, a 11% decline year over year. Federal Realty Investment Trust revenue for the 12 months ending September 30, 2020 was $0.855 billion, an 8.25% decline year over year. They have also been hurt from the COVID-19 restrictions, but this might be a good time to get in before a recovery begins. My sixth pick is Essex Property Trust with the ticker symbol ESS. Essex Property Trust, an S&P 500 company, is a fully integrated real estate investment trust that acquires, develops, redevelops, and manages multifamily residential properties in selected West Coast markets. Essex currently has ownership interest in 247 apartment communities comprising approximately of 60,000 apartment homes with an additional seven properties in various stages of active development. The stock price is currently trading at $254.20 with a market cap of $16.57 billion. They have a dividend yield of 3.2% with a payout ratio of 64.14%. They have a 8.83% five-year growth rate and they have been growing over the past 26 years. They also pay quarterly. Essex Property Trust revenue for the quarter ending September 30, 2020 was $0.371 billion, a 1.06% increase year over year. Essex Property Trust revenue for the 12 months ending September 30, 2020 was $1.5 billion, a 4.9% increase year over year. Moving on to number 7, Stag Industrials Inc. with the ticker symbol STAG. They are a real estate investment trust focused on acquisition and operation of single-tenant industrial properties throughout the United States. By targeting this type of property, Stag has developed an investment strategy that helps investors find a powerful balance of income plus growth. As of June 30, 2020, the company owned 457 buildings in 38 states with approximately 91.8 million rentable square feet consisting of 379 warehouse distribution buildings, 70 light manufacturing buildings, and 8 flex office buildings. This stock is currently trading at $30.15 with a market cap of $4.5 billion. They have a dividend yield of 4.75% with a payout ratio of 77%. They have a 2.08% five-year growth rate and they have been growing over the past one year. They pay monthly dividends in comparison to the quarterly dividends. Stag Industrial Revenue for the quarter ending September 30, 2020 
was 0.117 billion, a 3.67% increase year over year. Stag industrial revenue for the 12 months ending September 30, 2020 was $0.465 billion, a 14.7% increase year over year. Moving on to number 8, public storage with the ticker symbol PSA. Public storage is a member of the S&P 500 and FT Global 500 and is a REIT that primarily acquires, develops, owns and operates self-storage facilities. At June 30, 2020, they had interest in 2,500 self-storage facilities located in 38 states with approximately 171 million net rentable square feet in the United States and approximately 35% common equity interest in Shugart Self Storage SA, Euronext Brussels, which owned 238 self storage facilities located in seven Western European nations with approximately 13 million net rentable square feet and an approximate 42% common equity interest in PS Business Parks, which owned and operated approximately 28 million rentable square feet of commercial space at June 30, 2020. Their headquarters are located in Glendale, California. The stock price is currently trading at $229.96 with a market cap of $40.2 billion. They have a dividend yield of 3.41% with a payout ratio of 76.9%. They also have a 7.39% five-year growth rate and they have not been growing their dividends over the past four years. The last increase was $0.20 and 10.26.16. They pay quarterly as well. Public storage revenue for the quarter ending September 30, 2020 was $0.731 billion, a 0.18% increase year over year. For the 12 months ending September 30, 2020, revenue was $2.87 billion, a 1.83% increase year over year. Moving on to number 9, Innovative Industrial Properties with the ticker symbol IIPR. Innovative Industrial Properties Inc. is a self-advised Maryland corporation focused on the acquisition, ownership, and management of specialized properties leased to experienced state licensed operators for their regulated medical use cannabis facilities. Innovative Industrial Properties Inc. has elected to be taxed as a real estate investment trust commencing with the year ending December 31, 2017. So they are a fairly new company. The stock is currently trading at $150.07 with a market cap of $3.328 billion. They have a dividend yield of 3.13% with a payout ratio of 95.74%. Because it's a new company, they don't have a long history to provide a benchmark. However, they have grown over the past one year. IIPR's revenue for the quarter ending September 30, 2020 was $34.3 million, a 197% increase year over year. And moving to number 10, which is our last REIT that I'm going to be looking at, is Two Harbors Investment Corp with the ticker symbol TWO. Two Harbors Investments Corp operates as a real estate investment trust that focuses on investing in, financing, and managing residential mortgage-backed securities non-agency securities, mortgage servicing rights, and other financial assets in the United States. Two Harbors Investment Corp. was incorporated in 2009 and is headquartered in New York, New York. The stock is currently trading at $6.35 with a market cap of $1.738 billion. They have a dividend yield of 8.67% with a payout ratio of 80.83%. Two's most recent quarterly dividend payment was made to shareholders of record on Thursday, October 29. The company has grown its dividend for the last one year and is increasing its dividend by an average of negative 3.5% each year. Their revenue was $994 million as of 12-31-19 and their trailing 12 months is going to be around $427.2 million. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Please leave your comments down below and let me know what your thoughts are regarding these 10 REITs that I have picked. I've owned some of these REITs myself. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about these REITs and which ones you guys own. Please leave your comments down below. Give me a thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.